day seven it's officially one week of wearing my continuous blood glucose monitor so today I'm gonna go do jiu-jitsu I did just have some fruit so my levels are a little bit high I'm hoping they drop before I get to training and I'm curious to see how my, my blood sugar levels go throughout my jiu-jitsu training because it's like a fight or flight sport and because it's quite like taxing on the body it should it, I should expect it to be quite high after and I'm curious to see how long it takes to get down so uh, let's get to training Okay, jiu-jitsu done. Today's session was so good. I've had a rough few, few weeks of training, whereas I think we all go through those phases where we're training and we don't really want to be training and we're just feeling wrecked and exhausted, like our body just needs like a rest or you need like a two-week break or something. And I've been having that for the last few weeks. And then today I was back on jiu-jitsu. It was so good. All my rolls felt great. My body felt good. A couple of my niggles and injuries, but other than that, I felt pretty epic. So with my continuous blood glucose monitor i checked my blood sugar after a couple of the rolls um so i started off before the class at about a 6.3 ish and that was because i had a bit of fruit an hour before so i was a little bit high and then for, before I started class, I went to 7.7 .7 because of the adrenaline before starting jiu-jitsu. So my body was kind of getting ready. So a lot of the blood glucose, what the glucose was being pushed into the blood, I got to an 8.4, um, which is really high. So that is kind of like for me having a lot of carbohydrates or um, like some real, like a good chunk of fruit. Um, so yeah, it's like heaps of rice or something like that it goes to that high when I have a big carbohydrate based meal So that was a lot of glucose being pushed into my blood Which is why they say things like CrossFit and things like Jiu Jitsu are really hard to be keto Because you do require quite a bit of carbohydrates and glucose in order to get through it So I'm pretty happy I had the fruit before that and it actually took me about an hour To come fully back down off that back to under a six so that for me is very similar to when I had the coke in my last little test. That took quite a bit of time for me to get up and also to get back down. But thank you guys for checking out my video. I'm still testing. I'm on day seven, seven days left, still trying to figure all this stuff out. Now I just ordered Rob Wolf's book, Why to Eat. And he actually talks a lot about blood glucose measuring and what you should be looking out for in a seven day carb test where he makes you eat about 50 grams of carbohydrates and test your blood glucose about two hours after to see where you are. What I've noticed is with pretty much everything I've done, after two hours, my blood glucose is back to normal. So I don't really have any issues with my blood glucose. I'm just curious to see how high things go up and how I can create, make things a little bit steadier for my health. But uh, other than that, I want to keep experiment experimenting. If any of you guys have experimented and have any little new information, thing, information or things I should check out, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, keep being strong, happy and healthy.